Your breath stinks. <laughs> hey guys, Merry Christmas. And today in the garage, we're going to be opening one of my Christmas presents early, my engine bay. But before we could take the engine out, we had to see how healthy it was. So we started with the compression test. We're about to do the compression test, which basically means, <laughs> I'm explaining this to myself as much as I'm explaining it to the camera, <laughs> which basically means that we're gonna measure how much power each- uh, Pressure. How much pressure each cylinder has. So we wanna see how healthy the engine is now, and then once we have it all done, we'll probably do the compression test again to see if we've made an improvement Maybe if we've messed up. <laughs> and what we're gonna try to see is consistency yes. across. We wanna see if are all they, of them are about yeah. in the same range. So yeah, let's do it. I just didn't wanna do it yet. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to hold this. So, to do the compression test, we need to have the engine on but we don't want it to start so we uh, we disconnected the fuel line so that no fuel can go to the engine and we disconnected the power yeah to the distributor to the distributor which gives um the cylinders the spark yeah which so makes the engine go so there's no possible way that the engine could start right now making it safe for us to do the compression test let's pull some spark plugs Yes. Nice. I'm smart. So now we'll know exactly which one to clutch. All right, so now just get the rest out? Yep. Oh, this one looks worse. Cool. One, two. Good. I'm strong. Good. Better? <laughs> Question mark? I've got it. I'm worried about putting on my body weight on. Well, you just don't want to fall. I know, that's my do you need me? To, do you need me to kind of give you a little support? Yeah, we need okay, to make sure I don't fall. I got you. <laughs> I told you I was gonna fall. Are you, have you got it? Or do you need me to? No, Good. I think I got it. Okay. You need to take that. I got it. <sighs> Good. All right, let's see number six. <sighs> I think it might be the best of all of them. Yeah? We just removed all of the spark plugs. Not as easy as it seems. You would have thought it was easy, but it takes a lot of effort. Uh, so we are about to screw the hose for the compression test into the first um, right. cylinder. Let's do I was, it. I was wondering if I said cylinder or spark plug. Hole. Place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does it just? Uh huh. Just make sure it's got, yeah, it kind of gets a good bite in there. I think that's it. Is it going? We're good. <laughs> so now my dad is going to turn on the engine so that we can see the PSI. Yeah, what the pressure um, gets up to. Yeah. Okay, here we go. What'd it do? It's at like 180. That's beautiful. So now we're gonna do the other five. We're gonna, yeah. That was definitely 190. I 
190. Oh, that is a... That's a good engine. Yeah. What I'm taking out of the garage today is that whether you're looking at your compression or taking a midterm, it's always nice to pass a test. It was so cool to do the compression test and it was really cool to take the spark plugs out because I have never done that before. It was also really great to see how good the engine was doing. All the compression numbers were really similar to each other. It's just great to see how healthy of an engine we have to start with. Also, you may have noticed on the spark plugs out of cylinders two and three were a little oily. The previous owner had told us that the car had leaky valve stem seals, and maybe that was the reason we had oily spark plugs. If any of you guys have experience with this, maybe you think we're right, maybe you think we're wrong, maybe you have another idea, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time in the garage. <laughs> Were you recording? Oh. <laughs> hey guys, Merry Christmas. I forgot what I was going to say, but I'm still talking in my on-camera voice.